Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand what causes atmospheric pressure and what causes atmospheric pressure to change. And we'll also see what causes high and low pressure systems. So what is pressure? Pressure is a continuous force exerted on or against an object by something in contact with it. Now that we know what is pressure, this video is focused towards atmospheric pressure. So what is atmospheric pressure? It is the force applied on a surface by the weight of air above that surface in the atmosphere of Earth. Now, atmospheric pressure has a major role to play in order to understand the types of weather conditions generally associated with the region. Now, I need you to understand this, but later on I'll tell you why. High pressure is generally associated with nice weather, while low pressure is generally associated with cloudy, rainy or snowy weather. In order to understand the types of weather conditions generally associated with high and low pressure systems, we must think vertically. The movement of air in the atmosphere above our heads play a large part in the weather we experience here at Earth's surface. Basically, air cools as it rises, which can cause water vapor in the air to condense into liquid water droplets, sometimes forming clouds and precipitation, rainfall. On the other hand, sinking air is associated with warming and drying condition. So the first important point to keep in mind is rising air equals to moisture and sinking air is equal to drying. So what does this have to do with high and low pressure? So as you know, high pressure is associated with sinking air and low pressure is associated with rising air. Generally, it makes sense that air flows from high pressure to low pressure. And the reason is due to gravity. Due to Earth's gravitational force, the airflow is directed inward toward the low pressure center and outward away from the high pressure center. Therefore, you can also say the wind in a high pressure system flows in clockwise direction out of the center, while in low pressure system, wind flows in an anti-clockwise direction towards the center. Now the inward moving of air in low pressure causes air to converge and since it cannot move downward due to the surface, the air is forced to go upward, leading to condensation and precipitation, which is called rainfall. And the opposite occurs with high pressure. Air is moving away from the high pressure center at the surface, which is called diverging. So as a result, air from above must sink to take its place. Hence, this is the reason why high pressure leads to good climate and low pressure leads to rainy climate. Usually, ocean surface has high pressure and land surface has low pressure. And when the cool air over the water moves from high pressure to low pressure area that is towards land, since land gets heated faster than water, therefore the air over there moves upwards. And we learnt that during low pressure the air moves up, hence condensation and precipitation takes place. Hopefully after seeing this video you have a better understanding of the pressure systems. Hope you like the video and subscribe to it. I'll be back with another video. Until then, see you.